Hi, I'm Brett from The New Wheel, and today I'm with Rowan, our, one of our salespeople from San Francisco, and we are with the Gazelle Arroyo Elite, um, a brand new electric bicycle from Royal Dutch Gazelle. So Rowan, the Arroyo we've had in the lineup for a long time now, what is new on the Arroyo Elite? Yeah, so a number of things have changed with the Elite. The, the first thing that you probably have noticed uh, other than the name, uh, adding in the Elite in there, is that we've moved from a battery that used to be on the rear rack to now being incorporated into the down tube. Uh, and that changes the weight distribution of the bike, uh, makes the ride feel a little bit e more evenly distributed. Uh, and you'll notice that in the steering. Then things like the motor, which you may not have necessarily recognized, is now the Active Line Plus, as opposed to the performance line on the previous bike. And that has allowed it to be less weight in the motor because there are less internal components and a larger chain ring. And so that gives you a quieter ride on the bike. So whisper quiet riding experience, which is just excellent for getting around some of the hills. Uh, then things like smaller touch points, the lights have side lighting, um, both on the front and rear fenders um, with lights integrated into the fenders themselves so that when you're being seen from the side, you, the lights actually show through there. And some of the things that they've kept around that were, work really well, the adjustable stem, super adjustable if you've got multiple people in the family that are gonna be riding this bike. The Purion uh, display up there is now more uh, compact. It uh, gets into actually having all the same functionality, just in a smaller form factor. It's the traditional Dutch bike look here. So it's that slight pedal forward, uh, giving you that upright seated position. Uh, and all of that with the high handlebars allows for a very upright ride. And that allows you to look around and be able to see what's going rather than being bent down in a more aggressive position. It's typically Dutch, right. I would say. <laughs> yeah. You're kind of set back. You're, you're, it's like riding a couch a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. The pedal forward position, being able to comfortably touch the ground, but also step off the saddle and uh, have full control over the bike. I think on the original Royo, it, it was always a little lighter on the, on the front end. And this probably had a little bit to do with all the weight being over the back. But when I was riding this bike, you can notice right away just how much, you know, it's still very upright, but it's much improved handling. Yeah. All the Arroyos throughout the years have had internal gear hubs. Why do you think Gazelle builds this bike with, with this sort of drivetrain setup? Yeah, so lower maintenance really is the big driver for that. But the benefit too is that you can shift at any time, right? Right, so come to a stop and you can change up or down gears depending on where you are in your commute, for sure. And I can see that being, that's probably a useful feature, especially if you have a kid seat on the back and you're in urban riding and you just come to a stop and you don't want to have to Right. Struggle up the hill. Yeah, like yeah, this. one of the great advantages for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then little things like having a chain guard on there means that you don't have to worry about having a different outfit. This is all about having a bike that is going to work for you no matter what you're doing in your life. It's like a vehicle. It's like a vehicle, yeah. right. Well, it is a vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can lock that up outside, and the, it's designed to have um, a paint job that's going to last time. Not like, chip when you right. put it up against the bike rack. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so it's supposed to be there and work for you as, yeah. a, as a vehicle should. Also, it seems, you know, what you notice in my experience, you're going down a hill and you've got the stopping power there, especially right. if you're loaded up with hydraulic brakes, you don't have to, you know, don't have to be concerned. You really, you're able to stop on a dime. Yeah. Yeah, so all of the all of the components work really well in the San Francisco Bay Area conditions. And if it works in San Francisco, you can be sure it works everywhere. Um, can you just go through some of the other uh, components that they build this bike up with? Yeah, so um, one of the other really nice things that Gazelle does well on all their bikes is the frame lock or cafe lock. Uh, it's essentially a lock that goes through the wheel to stop the bike rolling away. Uh, it may not be your primary lock, and it shouldn't be your primary lock in San Francisco, but the police have told us even that this is one of the biggest reasons that thieves don't take bikes, is that they can't roll away with it if they cut your lock. So really useful. Uh, they have um, reasonably puncture-resistant tires, so great for the San Francisco area. 
The, the other really nice thing is, is the design of the bike. So they've really gone for the traditional Dutch bike look as much as they can. And I think that shows through even more now um, with the battery being integrated here. I feel like you don't have that extra piece on the back. I'm impressed by all the welds are, you know, everything's polished. Can you speak more on what Who Gazelle is? Yeah. So they've been making bikes since 1892 and they are the Royal Dutch Bicycle Company. And that stamp comes from the crown and goes to certain uh, companies within an industry. They had at one point thought about taking it uh, uh, off site out of the country, but it is such an important piece of their brand to have the Royal Dutch seal that they kept the factory where it is. So thinking about your customers, who could you imagine enjoying the, the new Arroyo Elite? Yeah, so it's such a, a great versatile bike. Uh, it's comfortable, it's upright, uh, it has some great range with uh, the integrated battery now and the ActiveMind Plus, which gives you even more distance on a charge. So anywhere from 25 to up to potentially 90 miles in the best conditions. That it fits a lot of people. It's super comfortable. And so from a sizing standpoint, I'm looking at somebody that's probably 5'2", up to about 6'4", 6 6'5". 6 uh, there are three frame sizes, the 46, the 53, and the 57. So we can fit people to the bike really well. Uh, and then it comes in three colors. And this is Gazelle being a little bit humorous in that they've named this color Petrol. Uh, then nice. you have, uh, <laughs> then you've got a navy blue and uh, the third color is a silver. It's a great looking bike. It's gonna be there to do everything that you need it to do and more. So you're saying it's sort of the Model T of e-bikes. <laughs> it's a bike for everyone. Yeah. And uh, it's a bike to share. It seems pretty appealing. It is. It's a really great bike. So if this sounds um, appealing to you, I'd encourage you to come in to our stores. We have the Arroyo Elite in both San Francisco and Marin and um, you can uh, meet Rowan in San Francisco and we can go out on a test ride with you. So thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you around the shop. The new wheel in 20, 2050, we're gonna be selling uh, octocopters and electric bikes. With a bike strapped yeah, yeah. to the bottom. <laughs>